non-hydrocarbon compounds. We have several of them, most importantly sulfur, then nitrogen and oxygen, and to a smaller extent, metals found within crude oil. Talking about sulfur, which is the most important non-hydrocarbon component, uh, we can find it extensively from 0.5% up to 5%, even greater amounts, but typically we stick to these values for, let's say, common crude oils. They contain both organic and inorganic sulfur, and mostly you can find inorganic sulfur, but you gotta ensure also to remove organic sulfur compounds. For instance, theophene, pyridine, and so on. So what do I mean with this is that sulfur is not essentially found just as a solid sulfur in crude oil. Sulfur will be found in molecules such as theophene or benzotheophene or dibenzotheophenine, also in cyclic sulfides, aromatic disulfides, or even mercaptans or thiols. And it's kind of hard to remove it this way because you will need to hydrotreat it in order to ensure that you form hydrogen sulfide and then recover it. Actually, hydrogen sulfide will be then sent to the closed process in order to obtain solid sulfur as seen here and here. Now, whenever we're talking about crude oils, we're going to ensure if this is a sour or a sweet crude oil. So whenever we talk about sour crude oils, these have higher than 0.5% sulfur content. Whenever we say sweet crudes, those are technically already removed from the hydrogen, uh, from, from the sulfur. And whenever we say we need to sweet that crude, means that this is a sour crude oil and we got to remove hydrogen sulfide or sulfide content in order to ensure this is a sweet crude and therefore can continue to form fuels. Now, 80% of the world reserves are now considered sour, so that is not an advantage for us, but we got to ensure that we have the technologies in order to remove sulfur content from that. Important to ensure that hydrogen re is required to remove sulfur, stated before, we use hydrogen sulfide, or technically we produce hydrogen sulfide from this sulfur bonded to it, and how can we break it is via hydrogen addition. So therefore, hydrogen or hydro treaters or hydro desulfurization units are required in sour crudes. Now, it's also important that as growing legislation increases the restrictions on the levels of sulfur, we are each time decreasing the amounts of sulfur content in fuels. For instance, I'm pretty sure that you have seen the gasoline content and it says ultra low sulfur gasoline, meaning that it's almost no gasoline content. You can find also low sulfur gasoline, and nowadays you cannot find anything higher than low sulfur gasoline. Also very important, talk, talking about hydrogen sulfide, you gotta take care into some hazard considerations. For instance, hydrogen sulfide has this typical rotten egg odor. It's very easy to identify it. But as the concentrations increases, you can have severe irritation on eyes, breathing passages, and eventually headache, nausea, and so on. As you keep increasing the percentage of hydrogen sulfide in air, you can eventually have nervous damage and die. So that's why it's important to consider hydrogen sulfide as an important chemical to control in the chemical plant.